1996 7.4 V8 engine with a Bravo Drive Mercruiser. 1996. Clean boat. Really a super clean boat. Very well maintained. But it's common that the boat owner, even though this boat is in extremely good condition, um, that they can overlook what Mercruiser used as their raw water pump assembly that drives the fuel pump. Which is right there. Okay, so we have this belt driven raw water pump. The water pump assembly is behind it where the impeller goes. Most people are familiar with this. But what some people still may not be familiar with is that inside, when you pull that fuel pump off, there's oil and there's a little eccentric, like a cam lobe, that actuates the fuel pump up and down. Now, this customer was complaining of a fuel delivery problem and was in considering going to electric fuel pump because he had done a little research and was pretty much on track which helped us with the diagnostics and there's a little drain plug in the side of this thing right there there's actually a fill plug on top and there used to be a drain plug on the bottom that Merc Cruiser took out on the latter models I do not know why but this thing has motor oil in it and it should be serviced regularly when the engine motor oil is serviced, but nobody ever does it because nobody really knows. And this milky, uh, this oil in here is a little bit milky, and that's just from years of use. Could be condensation, but more likely the pump bearing has gone out and the seals are gone, and it ingested some water into that oil. Now, when it did that, it causes a severe degradation of the components. And even though you may service it, we get my handy magnet out here. You may service it regularly. Uh, you could still probably just due to its design suffer failure. So we're going to grab that little eccentric that rides on top of that little lobe. My magnet will work. And you can see how loose that thing is. And what's happened is underneath there, and you can see it's just all over the place. Underneath there, that lobe has worn out and it's causing the fuel pump to not fully go to its limits to pump enough fuel to keep the engine running at higher RPMs. It'll probably run fine at low RPMs, but once you starve the engine for fuel at high RPMs, you empty the carburetor, 